Babs Bustachian. Keeping up with a Bustachian. I said to Gianni Luigi, the person who cleans all these windows, I think they need a sainthood. No wonder the Pope's always out and about passing round their begging bowl. I mean, the amount of Mr Muscle they must get through in this place. I mean, it's going to take a lot, isn't it? It must cost a flipping fortune. I mean, and how does the cleaner reach up to the domes? You must get a lot of cobwebs up there and some fly poo for sure. Thank God, crisscross, smoking has been banned. Imagine all the nicotine that would be on that ceiling. When I was a kid, I grew up thinking my mum's house was all painted brown. Puff, 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 you see. Now, St Peter, well, he would be turning in his tomb by now if he saw the basilica was brown, wouldn't he? Personally, I like this basilica very much. It's very beautiful in my opinion, but I'm just saying this. It could do with a little update. I would love to see a little bit of Banksy creep into the dome. Make a, 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 a make it pop a little bit. Give it a little bit of a, a chuckle, you know, as we saunter through. Lighten the place. I mean, for instance, Banksy could cook, put some big willies on them naked saints, couldn't he? I mean, they ain't got no willies, have they? They've got lots of muscle and no willies. It's like little pinky fingers bit weird but you see I blame Michelangelo he was a closet hermaphrodite so he had trouble painting big willies on men didn't he nowadays though anything goes I mean he could have friended Kathleen Jenner on Facebook or even put his bits up on Instagram but not back in them days he only had sister Bernadita to confide in while he was painting the Sistine Chapel and she was gossip chops let me tell you Get this right, the Vatican City is the smallest country in the world. Yes, country in the world. But you told her anything, Sister Bernadita, and the whole country knew in 15 minutes. And there was no messenger in them days. And, and, she was the silent order of nuns. How did she do it, you asked? Ah, she chain smoked like a chimney. She perfected the art of smoke signals, no problem. Quick fag round the back of the font and she blew them smoke rings nationwide. Oh yeah, yeah, and everyone saw her signals. Now, she didn't get the name Bitch Bernadita for nothing, you know. Actually, I've got a plan for this place. I'm going to book a meet and greet with Pope Francis. Won't be difficult, I'm telling you. Oh, you laugh. My neighbour in Chiggers knows him from back in the Buenos Aires days. Yeah, when they were nightclub bouncers together. Yeah, it's true. Apparently, Francis, he can half pack a punch. Would you believe it? Ava Perron always called him, always to look after her, when she had to sing Don't Cry For Me Argentina off on a balcony somewhere. Yeah. I'm also going to tell Francis, I want to rent out the space behind the only door in the Vatican. Why not? They always brick it up and only take the bricks away, wait for this, roughly every 15 years for a jubilee. Now, it's a big door. You could build a house with that lot of bricks. I mean, what a waste. What a waste. I could rent that space, call it the Holy Camoli Ice Cream Parlour. Nice, I think that's nice. I could sell John Paul II pistachio flavour, Pope Benedict banana and blue cheese flavour, Francis Franzi pan flavour and a lovely nun nut sundae. Delicious, I'm thinking. Now, they've got a lovely rent, they'd get a lovely rent from me, stop the damp proof rising behind the only door, and a nice commission if they sell any of my Babs Bustachian devilishly delicious desserts diary. It won't be hard. It's a global seller right now. Go out and get your copy. And I'm going to give Francis some free marketing advice to up his quota of dwindling parishioners. I've heard they're dropping off like flies. 
these days people are much more health conscious I'm going to tell him and they don't want all that wine shoveled down their necks especially not in church and especially if they're repenting sinners and they all are them Catholics aren't they sin 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 I'm going to suggest instead of wine on the wafer simply give them some ice cream it makes sense especially on a hot day he will increase his flock tenfold no problem and a lot more boys will want to join the choir and priests love a good sing song with the boys don't they it's a win-win situation i'd say and you know what i might even end up with a little sainthood myself if i play me cards right beautiful i think next time you're going to see me i don't know where but you're going to see me so till then babs bustachian blogging off and bussing out